So here I am on the top of Table Mountain in Cape Town, South Africa. And what a better place to talk to you about sensory issues and Asperger's syndrome. Getting here for me is, a, is as much a chore as anyone else, except on top of that, I have all my sensory things to make sure I take care of. So for example, in planning my trip, I made sure I had soft clothing on for the airport shoes that released rather than tied so I could take them off in the plane. I wore my airline socks which come all the way up to my knee and restrict my blood flow. I drank plenty of water before I left during the flight and after the flight and continue to drink a lot of water. I uh, took extra vitamins to take on the plane and when I landed I um, packed, made sure I packed things that, uh, you know, foods and things that I had so that I had good nutrition, ate some fruit on the plane, and I had to track my, track my bowel movement because if you get impacted, you can get a sensory breakdown of sorts. I made sure I ate some fruit so I went to the bathroom. These are all the types of self-care things that we need to do for ourselves when we're traveling. I also needed to, um, you know, know where I'm going, so I have everything planned out and all my paperwork run off and Xeroxed off in my bag, and make sure I called my credit card companies to make sure that my cards would be good. So there's a lot of preventive strategies, I mean strategies, not tragedies, but strategies that to prevent tragedies when I'm traveling. Um, the, other, the other things I do is I try to eat healthy foods while I'm traveling and if I can't sleep I do take some sleep medication so that I'm able to operate the next day. So as I speak here in the middle of the afternoon here in Cape Town it's barely morning in the East Coast and I'm functioning pretty good the first day here. Nice breakfast, we're hiking up here, the air is wonderful and um, put my sunscreen on, have a hat to wear, I have a little shirt I can put on if it gets cool. These are all the strategies that we need to do to help ourselves with our senses um, to prevent ourselves from breaking down. Okay, so that's a little, just a little bit about travel and sensory issues.